Hi everyone, I would like to talk about one of the major problems that is going on in the world. As you have probably heard, Australia is on fire. From September 2019, fires heavily impacted various regions of the state of New South Wales, such as the North Coast, Mid-North Coast and Hunter region. Entire towns have been engulfed in flames, and residents across several states have lost their homes. The heaviest structural damage occurred in New South Wales, the country's most populated state, where close to 1,300 homes have been destroyed and over 440 damaged. The fires have burned 3.6 million hectares of land in New South Wales and 1.2 million hectares in Western Australia. In total, more than 5.9 million hectares have been burned, an area larger than the countries of Belgium and Haiti combined. Therefore, a total of 18 people have died nationwide and in the state of NCW alone, more than 900 houses have been destroyed. There also has been extensive damage to wildlife and the environment. Almost a third of koalas in New South Wales may have been killed in the fires and a third of their habitat has been destroyed. Approximately 500 million animals have lost their lives in the fire. You may have a question, what is causing the fires? Each year there is a fire season during the Australian summer, with hot, dry weather making it easy for blazes to start and spread. Most of the time, natural causes are to blame, such as lightning strikes in forests impacted by drought. Dry lightning was responsible for starting a number of fires in the East Gippsland region of Victoria at the end of the December, which, according to state agency Victoria Emergency, traveled more than 20 kilometers in just 5 hours. However, humans can also be to blame. A 19-year-old volunteer member was arrested on suspicious of arson by the New South Wales Rural Fire Service in November, charging him with seven counts of deliberately setting fires over a six-week period. This is a picture of father carrying his daughter in Malakuta, Australia, as the skies above turned red during the day on January 4. After flights were grounded due to smoke, Many parents with young children were stuck in Malakuta and only school aged children and older ones were allowed to evacuate by the boat. To prevent the fire, in New South Wales alone, 2,000 firefighters are working on the ground and more assistance is on the way. The United States, Canada and New Zealand have sent additional firefighters to assist. Therefore, the federal government has also sent in military assistance like army personnel, air force aircraft for firefighting. Finally, when will the fires end? Unfortunately, Australia is only just entering its summer season. Normally, temperatures peak in January and February, meaning the country could be months away from finding relief. The fires are unlikely to end entirely since they are annually occurring event and may even get worse if recent years are a guide. We are sending our prayers to Australia and we hope that everything is going to be fine. Finally, thank you guys for watching my video and if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. See you all soon!